Hello, welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video. That is the uh, the Desert Zaku, and uh, I haven't played this in a hot minute. I think the last time I played this was like the first year I was playing this game, like back in 2019, uh, maybe some time after that. But I I hardly ever played this, uh, <laughs> mostly because, uh, well, especially here, I'm using the level four. I think you'll see me. Uh, Taking a gander at its weapons there. Uh, I want to say this is a 350, 300, ah, 350 match. And uh, yeah, we're using the Desert Zaku. And it's going to be on impact side. I'm with Mick and King. And uh, yeah, it's got a bazooka. It's got some um, wrist missiles. It's got grenades. It's even got Vulcans. So it's got a decent uh, set of weapons. Uh, but you know, how does it fare? Well, we're going to see. And uh, the paint scheme I have here, I got the uh, the red shoulder custom like <laughs> in Votoms. That's not what it was based on, because this is way before I even knew what Votoms was. But uh, I think I had like, uh, so you know, guys know the Aqua Vengeance, uh, the, the Gilga got painted blue and all that shit. Blue, green, greenish, turquoise. It's one of those. I don't even think I pronounced that right. Uh, I had some other kind of original stuff going on. I was like, oh, this is the Dead Core. They, uh, they help clean up after operations, shit like that, you know. Hey, we're gonna get a nice cleanup kill. Uh, and yeah, I just I put a few of my uh, uh, Zaku's as this color, and then I promptly just picked other suits when the better options came out. Did some other paint schemes, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I have a good majority of my older Zaku suits I used to play. Like, even my, uh, my Zaku on Sniper, you'll sometimes see that purple and red paint scheme. I do like the look of it, but yeah, here I am, uh, stalling the enemy team before a support fire comes in, just wipes them the fuck out, so, hey, I did my job there, I'm already doing pretty well, I think I got two kills and helped secure two more, so, already, uh, outweighing my usefulness here, because, you know, you don't see the, uh, the Desert Zaku too much anymore, and, uh, I guess I can see why, uh, it, the, the wrist missiles are pretty awkward to use, it can use the, uh, the Zaku Bazooka, which not a lot of people use that, because of, I'm assuming it's because the damage it does, I mean, it does set up for some, uh, melee attacks, but there's, you know, there's obviously there's other suits that are way better at doing that, and it's got grenades, which, grenades can be useful, uh, I can probably, you know, I believe this thing can use a Zaku machine gun or MMP-80, I forgot which, yeah, because you know, I've only played this twice or three times, but... <clears throat> so you can use the grenades, maybe get a quick uh, stun with your machine gun afterwards. <clears throat> Make for a nice uh, assisting general. Uh, but here I'm just using it as a quick stun, come in, get a get a slash maybe. Uh, just provide some more uh, fire support. Uh, and yeah, we got Mick in the high speed dom again, and uh, King in the regular Gelgoog, I believe that is. Um, alright, here comes the Tropical Test Type, just come in with that downswing killing Mick. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, give him a nice downswing, come in with another one, because uh, I believe this thing can use, well, since it's level 4, it can use level 4 weapons, so give that thing the level 4 uh, axe and the heat hawk, uh, my bad. <laughs> and it can do some pretty good damage. Ooh, did a perfect dodge roll. He did his downswing again, which, uh, kind of like with the EZ8, a lot of players like to uh, just do that. <laughs> Uh, just throw out their downswing. It's pretty slow, so you really have to wait until the enemy is like available to get hit. Uh, okay, our support's going to run over the pilot, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. <clears throat> but yeah, usually I have to wait for a uh, a dodge roll, then I'll do my downswing, or if I know uh, I'm going to hit it, if they're not, it to be very specific with that downswing. It is a pretty powerful one though, because I'm pretty sure the Dom Tropicals and the Easy Eights are really great at breaking legs. Uh, but yeah, oh, I'm gonna come in there, get my down, uh, my neutral swing, and back off. Have King deal with that. Oh, there's the Dom again coming with his down swing. So um, we'll see if we can get a few hits on him because I don't believe I'm gonna survive this encounter because King is nearly dead, and that's gonna leave me at a disadvantage. So let's try and get off as much damage as possible. That Dom got saved by that building there, but <laughs> go for the tackle. Probably could have done my weapon switches a lot more better here. Have my Heat Hawk out before I tackled. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm still, I'm still going to get my neutral swing off. And, uh, you know, I did as much damage as I could before dying. So, I guess there's that. And, uh, it looks like he got his downswing off on Mick again. 
And yeah, the Dom Tropical is pretty, uh, pretty all right, too. I have to go back to playing again. Uh, you know, you got your machine gun. I believe it's also got grenades, and it's got a bazooka. Uh, pretty devastating downswing as well. I believe that was also a reward suit that was given out at one point uh, for an update. And, you know, it's not a bad, bad suit, you know. It can do the job. Good, do a good general job, you know. Let's spawn in, and I believe I saw somebody in the tunnels uh, at this point, and I was going to go check and see if I can see him running uh, to our base, because I believe it might be the E-Freak Custom, which I only saw, I believe, once this match. Um, and, you know, he's going to go try and plant the bomb, I believe. When I turn around this corner, I'm going to see just the tail end of him. Yeah, there he is. And uh, we're going to chase after him, and then I believe King is going to come back. We're already ahead uh, by quite a bit, and this is a lower-cost match, so I think it's fine for King to come over here and help as well. Uh, since we're so far ahead, I believe our team can handle uh, the front pretty well. Uh, so go ahead. And, uh, I thought I was hitting the pilot, but I was stupid. I was like, oh, wait, it says advantage. It's obviously a suit. So I'm going to throw some missiles down here. Uh, for some reason, the, the cracker grenade's not really good at taking out pilots inside of your base. It's probably because there's a lot of cover around to uh, that you can hide behind from the uh, the blast radius. So I'm going to go ahead and hit his uh, suit a little bit, damage it in case he gets back in it, or, and you know, keep an eye out. They did kill King, and I believe I'm just going to keep an eye out on him. Uh, I believe when I turn back to hit his suit again, he's going to try and plant a bomb. And when he does, that's going to be just enough time for King to catch him as soon as he plants it. And, uh, yeah, there it goes. Uh, and then he comes in, he's going to get the kill. And, hey, now, well, there we go. <laughs> All he has to do is defuse it, and I'm just going to go back to the front line. And we have almost a minute, about a minute and ten. Yeah, a minute and ten. <laughs> I had to wait for that. Uh, until the match ends, and so far we're 5,000 points ahead. I'm pretty sure we got this in the bag. We would have to fuck up uh, quite a bit to uh, lose at this point. Um, but uh, yeah, we got this in the bag. Throw some grenades, and uh, try and stop this E-Freak Custom who got back in his suit after D after trying to plant a bomb. So he's going to get rid of our uh, Zaku there, or Aqua Zaku, and we'll throw a grenade that's going to pitifully miss Wish they had a bigger radius, cracker grenades. Uh, get some Vulcan shots in. Coming in for this melee, let's get away from that motherfucker. There's uh, Mick with the uh, the toss on the ground, then blow him up as soon as he hits the ground. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get that kill. Kill confirm it, you might say. And uh, just try and survive with 11k health here. Hey, there's the uh, Aqua Zaku, the enemy team. Blow him up a little bit. Come in and uh, you know gash him with the, uh, the side swing. Disembowel him, let his uh, viscera see the day of light, you know, and then downswing the uh, the ML just because I can, and then uh, throw a grenade, call it a day, you know, <laughs> throw a grenade, call it a day, and yeah, mission completed, and we'll see what we got going on here with our first match in the Desert Zaku in a while. Uh, Mick is gonna just completely take the board there in his uh, Dom Tropical. Dom Tropical, Dom High Speed, my bad. Going to praise him and King, and then, yeah, third place, 6-2, and two, uh, third in damage, and third in individual score, so not bad at all. Um, and, yeah, that was the first time I played the Desert Zaku in just forever, and you know what? Uh, you know, It's still a pretty competent suit. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be the best suit to use at, uh, I believe, again, I'll say this is a 350 uh, yeah, I wouldn't say 350, um, I believe that's where the Pale Rider Calvary starts at, perhaps, uh, even the E-Free Custom, but, yeah, uh, got good general weapons, you got the, the missiles, you got the bazooka, you got some grenades, and some Vulcans, uh, and obviously I didn't know, you can tell I don't, I didn't know how to play the suit, because I didn't know the, the correct stun, uh, accumulation for stuff like grenade into my rockets, uh, my wrist rockets. Uh, so I just opted to use the rockets all at the same time to get a stun, follow up with the grenades, or maybe the bazooka and get a melee attack in. So, uh, but you know what? It fares pretty well. Uh, it's a great general unit. Again, uh, even at the uh, higher costs, 
uh, or higher levels, my bad. Uh, you know, it could probably do pretty good at, uh, at its intended cost, you know, like level 1, level 2. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And, you know, type up in the comment section what you feel about the Desert Zaku. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, I, I like it. Uh, yeah, I like the design of it. It's okay. Uh, as far as a suit, um, I already got suits that I'm playing uh, at 300, 350 uh, that I'm going to go to, like the, uh, the Zaku Marine type or... Uh, uh, the Aqua GM, which, I think I've mentioned this before, but apparently the Aqua GM and the Aqua Gundam, uh, have just been killing it at 300 and 350 lately, uh, so, I was playing those before they were popular, <laughs> not that it matters, but, yeah, it's obvious, it's obvious to see why those suits are doing really good right now, even the, uh, the Zaku Marine type, uh, they just do really good at their jobs, so hopefully we get some, uh, more uh, lower cost suits in because I know they're trying to go to 700 here in a minute I believe the upcoming I don't know a lot of people are saying the new Gundam is going to be the a, the anniversary suit that would be awesome but uh, that would be really funny if it's not <laughs> it's the Riga Z <laughs> uh, but yeah can't wait for that and uh, hopefully you know after they're messing around with 700 they'll Come around to 300, 350, give us some more suits for that uh, to contend with the uh, the aqua suits. Even though I am a water boy, uh, <laughs> water superiority man, uh, we do need some suits to kind of liven up that, uh, that cost range. Make it a little bit different, you know, so it's not fighting the same suits over and over again. But yeah, with that, I uh, will see you guys later. Bye.